Hello everybody and welcome back to some more of the Enter the Enter the Enter the Gungeon. The modded the Enter the Gungeon. Yes, let's go. Anyways, let's jump into another run. See how we do. For some reason the um breach is kinda laggy here. I'm not sure what's going on with that. I don't know how to do the breach decorations or not, but I have to say, I am in a like a state of distress right now. Because I've just eaten a gargantuan amount of food. Um, and <laughs> I've got the meat sweats, I'm feeling hot. <laughs> yeah, I just ordered a burger, and it, it was fantastic, I have to say. The back um, yeah, nah, thanks. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for something a little more luxurious, I think. Not a bad gun by any means, but not something that I want to finagle with right now. I am very full, and that hinders my ability to play Enter the Gungeon. Oh god. I don't know why, but uh, this, this video is like a day late today. I'm sorry. It just... I've been playing other things, and it kind of sidetracked me. I, um, I didn't get around to recording it when I should have done, so apologies for that. Hopefully, the run here doesn't take too long to restart. It seems to be taking an awfully long amount of time right now. Um... Not quite sure what that's about. I know we had some issues last episode with loading times. Um, I'm not sure what caused that. Uh, I, I have installed Knife to a Gunfight over the past two episodes, so it could be that, but I don't think it would be. I'll have to do some testing at some point. Apologies for the long load times either way. <clears throat> but yeah, how, how is everyone doing today? Are you in for some modded Enter the Gungeon? Are you ready to experience some... Uh, some interesting gameplay, <laughs> and by interesting I mean me being majoritively quite bad at the game uh, due to me being very complacent. Um, I've discussed it at length with Never Named, and basically what it comes down to is I'm actually very good at this game, but I'm, I get so complacent. Oh, really? Really? Um, am I willing to wait all that time again? Yes, I am. Yes, I bloody well am, because that was horrendous, that rule. That was horrendous. Amulet of the Pit Lord and the Shot Group. Oh, that was that was that was kind of gross. But yeah, I guess we're just sitting here and chatting for a hot minute because um the re restarting of runs is pretty bad. But yeah, it seems to come down to I've gotten to the point where I'm actually pretty good at this game, obviously because I've played it for a while. But I'm actually quite bad at the game because I get so complacent in my runs. Okay, we have. No to bullets. <laughs> uh, that's kind of interesting. We've also got the tractor beam. Okay, um, the flat bullets doesn't increase damage. It just says increase damage. It doesn't do anything else. It didn't even increase my damage. So I'm a little confused. Okay, it looks like stout bullets, but like... Really strange. We got some interesting stuff here. Ooh, Hellbound. Hex tinted glasses and the hexing rounds. All of those sound interesting to me. The tractor beam pulls enemies close. Does a good bit of damage. I like it. It's definitely gonna be dangerous, but I'm gonna use it nonetheless. I really like it actually. I also do apologize at the minute. I am kind of ill. You'll be able to hear it in my voice. Ooh, that was not a good idea for me there. Um, yes, yeah, so I don't know what's going on with the um, the flat rounds or whatever they were called, because it's not doing what it should be. One second. Sorry, I just have to blow my nose real quick. No, not quit to desktop. What are you doing? Okay, slightly harder room here. But yeah, it doesn't seem to be doing exactly what it's supposed to be doing for some reason. I'm not quite sure why that is. Ooh. I think track to me, we just got to use from a, a decent distance here. Use it from a decent distance and we'll be fine. Grab that as well. I'll come in here because why not? Just in case we get a, a map man going on. But yeah, I've, I've kind of gotten to the point where I'm getting like really complacent about my gameplay. In in the way that I just kind of think that I'm good enough to kind of no brain play the game. And it's gotten to the point where I do that so often that I get myself killed quite a lot. So I'm going to try and play reasonably well here. Um, and by that I mean we're, we're gonna play exactly like I normally do, and whenever I actually get hit, we just blame the game instead of blaming me. 
so I hope you're all okay with that. But yeah, Tractor Beam here is doing a really good job so far. I also really love the visual effect on this thing. It's got a, a really cool, like, glow to it. Makes the gun look very, very cool. And the, the Tractor Beam-esque idea. Like I, like Nevernam said before, it would be cool to see, like, the enemies get ascended to the sky when they die. Um, that would be an interesting addition to this item. But it works well enough as it is. Um, we get ourselves our bullet modifier. And we get blank rounds, which is actually a damage multiplier based on the amount of blanks that we have. So it's 10% for every blank that we hold. So if we could buy more blanks and hold on, hold on to them, it would be quite lucrative for us. So I might try and do that. I'm probably going to spend any money that I get on the uh, shop rather than spending it on um, keys. Or maybe I'll spend it on blanks. Probably a good idea to just buy blanks, actually, because that is... Being able to buy a 10% damage upgrade is kind of nutty. If we get ourselves up to, like, 50%, I think we'd be pretty much set for the rest of the run. So we've got three here. We don't really have that many means to actually buy much off the table, to be honest. We can only afford one so far. I mean, one's still pretty darn good. But that would mean missing out on the new shop from, um... Knife to a gunfight, which would also be kind of a shame. Cog of Battle here. Um, pretty decent. Let's go fight our boss. And then, yeah, I'll see what I've got with my money. I'll see I'll see where I sit, because there's a few things that I want. I don't actually know Tractor Beam um, effects. Okay, it doesn't seem to affect the, uh, the bosses. Also, it seems like Cog of Battle is really, really, really good with this weapon. Because it doesn't need to reload very often. So we're just getting the bonus for like a very long time. And it seems to be doing great damage. Pretty happy with that. We did get our little portal here. Um, we also got whatever the hell this thing is. This thing has like rings, right? Yeah, okay. This thing's decent. It's like a, a good assault rifle. Oh, this thing pulls me forward. So we've got... <laughs> what a combo of items. We've got a tractor beam. So this is from uh, Once More Into the Breach. And this is from planet side um this one pulls us towards enemies and the other one pulls enemies towards us what a strange combination to grab um right what, what we got here where's these boys at there you are okay right what we got going on here we got Patience, Gunslinger, and Gunslinger. I'll take Patience because I don't know what that does. We'll find out, I guess. Right, so. Back to the original shop. Why is there no teleporter near the air? What? To be fair, why is there not a teleporter in the starting room? That that seems odd to me. There should be a teleport uh, station in the starting room. Um, So we can buy the Hellbound, which I kind of want to do. That lowered our speed and it's given us a trail of fire. I'm going to guess that's all it does. Move slower and get a trail of fire, an abnormally hot ball and chain that feels heavier than it looks. It whispers your name and drags fire into the earth. Pretty decent, to be honest. It seems to, like, the, the trail lasts for a long time. So we'd probably be able to kill him pretty easily. Also, I'm assuming it just gives immunity to fire in any, like, any fire that we can end up finding. So that in itself is pretty good. Also, it just kind of looks cool. I like the way the trail's quite thin. Um... I feel like in Gungeon, whenever there's anything that applies a trail to your step, it's always like this thick, thick line of fire or thick line of goop or slime or poison or whatever you want to call it. But I don't know. I, I kind of like the way that it's really thin with this. It just, it looks very sleek. I appreciate that. And right, we'll stick with the tractor beam for now. Just because I'd rather pull my enemies towards me than me towards them, I'll be honest. And also, with Cogger Battles, it'd be pretty good. I did get hit there, but that is none of your concern. Um, we did get the minigun in here. We don't really need that, to be honest. I also like the way that whenever you step on, like, oil, it makes the squelching sound. So you listen. We're squelching our feet because it spawns the oil as we move. Kind of funny. Hello there, sir. Come towards me. You you won't come towards me, will you? Oh, you will. Oh, boy, you will. What about you? Okay, you can't. Good. 
Enemies that can't be dragged towards me are kind of my favorite right now. All right, let's try and use this thing a little bit. I probably want to just like pop it. Okay, with Cogger Battle, this thing is ludicrous. So we always want to be pulling back, obviously. But yeah, with Cogger Battle, this thing is, uh, I I'm gu guessing it's really good without it, but with it, it's especially good. It's like one, two shotting some enemies. It's just a little hard to handle, but I kind of like those guns. Ooh, is this shop again? Um, apparently that is kind of a bug that the uh, that shop is ap appearing so often. Apparently it's not meant to. Uh, the USB. Intriguing. Also made a weird noise when it picks it up. Uh, knife for a gunfight. A highly moddable space blaster with a port in the handle for a memory drive to be inserted. Reload to scan enemies and copy their traits for the next clip. Oh, damn. Does that say reload to copy their traits? Let me just make sure. Reload to scan enemies. That is a very, very, very cool idea for a gun. Um, I'm interested to see how this works. Right. Oh, okay, I've got to, like, fire a thing at them. Okay, so I've copied this guy's trait now, I think. And I fire double shot now. Oh wait, no, that's just made me fully auto, I think. That's giving me some fire rate. I want to copy some weird enemies and see what happens. Yes, look at that, that's awesome! This is an incredibly cool idea for a weapon. You have done a fantastic job here. I absolutely love this. Holy hell. What's the gun called again? USB, right, one second, one second. I'm gonna go and ask for the sprite for this, like, now, so I can get it ready for the thumbnail, because I am putting this bad boy in the thumbnail straight away. Um... Can I have the sprite for USB? Depends if they're awake. I don't know if they're awake right now. But anyways, let's continue onwards. Because this, that, I like this a lot. Now, I wonder what it does with modded enemies. I'm curious to know. Okay, we copied him. Yeah, look, there's the spread shot. I love that. That's such a cool idea. I wonder how many enemies are, like, coded into it. Like, there's so many enemies I want to try with this now. Ooh, new beaties. Right, that I, I managed to hit this guy. Okay, I did, I did have a feeling that would happen. Right, let's waste some ammo here. See if the beady does anything different. It just fires a secondary shot when we fire. And we got this rainbow bracelet here. Friendship bracelet. I can't remember. We've had this before, but I don't remember what it does. Um, gives you strength for every companion that fights alongside you. It's decent, but it doesn't give you a companion on picking it up, so it's not amazing. We've got 40 coinage. Uh, can we do much with that? We did have another one of these shops over here. We got 43, 62. Okay, so we can get 143 if we get some money off the boss here. Now, I do wonder if it works on bosses. Like... Let's, um, let's fight you as standards. Oh, it makes us immune to, like, poison as well, effectively. Um, I fired out a bunch of rings when I got hit there and didn't take any damage. I'm not sure what that's about. I mean, of course, I actually eventually did take some damage, but, like, to start with. I actually got hit by her, uh, Gorgon effect there. Man, this gun is this gun is fun but very hard to use. Ah, <laughs> we got the swan gun. I love it. I actually really enjoy this weapon. Especially with Cogger Battle for a faster reload, more damage. Right, we did get the 43 needed, so let's go back over here and buy whatever this ends up being. Um boosts you after falling in a pit. Less damage to jammed enemies. Hmm, that's actually not very good. <laughs> I'm not going to buy that. Uh, maybe we can buy some extra blanks, potentially. 
yeah, we got two there. Decent. Good bit of extra damage. Right. Use the swan gun for a bit here. I reckon swan gun will see as well. It will do us a good job. So far, getting hit a little more than I should be. But I'm going to put that down to the ring gun. Because I'm clearly just like careening myself into enemy fire. Oh, hello, little mushroom fellas. Interesting little enemies. Yeah, but the swan gun, very, very good. Um, we should try and use our USB on some of these enemies as well. Uh, everything in here died. Uh, I'm going to keep my USB as my secondary and then have it, like, ready to... Like, let's try and, let's try and use it on... Um, See what happens with this guy. Okay, so lasers don't do anything. It'd be cool if this gun, like, kept getting updated and added to over time. I'd appreciate that a lot. If eventually, obviously it's a lot of work, but if eventually it pretty much worked for every enemy in the game in some way. Like, even if some of them are copies of one another, it'd still be really cool. And then if it got modded enemy support, it would be insane. But I would not at all expect that from the developer. That would be way too much work. That's just regular fire. It seems to be that enemies that fire pretty normally, it copies them pretty normally. But any enemies that fire like like these dudes do, it, it adds something different. I love these mushroom guys. I don't know what's going on with them, but they're cool. Now I wonder if uh, like shooting one of those guys gives us an explosive shot or something. Got that key, lovely. Okay, this is giving us a shotgun. I like that. Really, really cool stuff here. Really cool stuff. But nothing can beat the swan. Nothing can beat the swan. This, okay, this is ridiculous. <laughs> this shop is showing up a lot. Terracotta potion, that could be an active. I could be down for an active right about now. Guess swans. Chat shit gets swans. I like the way the swan like darts its neck at the enemies as it fires. It just, it, it kind of like, I feel like it should come with like a, a little swan gawk or like hiss sort of noise. I feel like it, the, the fact that it doesn't like make a little honk or like a little hiss. I don't know. It's, it's a wasted opportunity really, isn't it? Well, here's our shot. We got the small, which is exactly 49. Oh, we've got Mobius Clip, which I think makes infinite ammo weapons better. I'm going to take the small. Seems interesting. Does more damage to flaming enemies. That's actually really good for us. Because we do indeed have a way to set enemies on fire. I mean, this technically puts them out. But um, <laughs> let's ignore that for now. So... What we could technically do here is um, add add a little add a little 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 fire here, and then shoot you for that extra toasty bit of damage. I mean, I feel like it's a little convoluted, but like not so much though. Ooh, this thing with the shotgun effect on it—very nice. That open. We got ourselves the copper sidearm. Okay, that's pretty good. That's decent enough. Copper sidearm. Ooh, that's actually really good. I didn't realize it pierced. That might be a boss kill of that. And then we got the metal grit here, the sewer, portable sewer grit. Is this just allows us to sell stuff? Causes the player to seep into the ground become invincible and have increased speed for a few seconds. Also, she's bullets upon seeping into the ground. Oh, okay, okay. I thought this was going to be like a cell creep sort of thing where I could sell things on the go. I don't remember things so good, me. But, kind of good. We get to 
slink away down into the floor. I tried to lay some fire on you, but it didn't really do much. Oh, baby, yes. The refresher is pretty quick, though, so we can uh, utilize it to get quite a lot of um, invincibility here. Okay, you are in a terrible spot right now, my good sir. You are in a terrible spot. I used a blank. I lost damage for that. I'm stupid. Not be using blanks at any time. Right, we got it. We got it. Pretty good weapon for bossing. Not not the best. It's not as good as I thought it was going to be. But it's still pretty damn good. Ooh. Dragon fire. Don't mind if I do. Um, shop wise, I think we're good. We'll be heading down to the next floor. What's the best we find another w uh, witch shop? <laughs> they seem to be pretty, pretty common right now. They seem to be pretty damn common, which is, is not a terrible thing with a new mod. I think later down the line, it definitely needs to be turned back a little bit. When it's a brand new to the channel sort of mod, it's a, it's a good way to promote your mod. So I think Ski gave me a, a special version of his mod to make sure his items sh showed up more. Which isn't, de it definitely isn't true, because I downloaded it from the, uh, the Thunderstar, so there's no way he could have done that. Um, but, <laughs> it does kind of seem like that's what's happened. It's been like, no, 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 this is the normal version. Don't worry about a thing. I haven't sent you a version where my items show up more commonly than everyone else's, don't worry about it. It's fine. <laughs> but, like I said, I I've really got to say... I think Ski has done a fantastic job with this new update. He's been working on it for a really long time, just due to um, it being so big and then um, like life getting in the way. Um, but my God, holy hell, was it worth the wait? Because honestly, I I'll, I'll be I'll be I'll be completely honest. The first version of Ski's mod was was pretty low quality in comparison to the rest of the modern community, but only because he created it very early on and he had, like, that was when he'd start, only just started modding dungeons, so it's understandable. Like, the, some of the sprites weren't quite up to scratch with some of the other stuff that's out there. Um, rusted Cog. Um, and, yeah, some of the item ideas weren't super interesting. I didn't really, didn't really work right. I didn't really, like, come out as expected, I think. But honestly, the updated version here. I haven't actually seen many of the um, original items because I know that quite a few of them got reworked or changed. So that's a shame that we haven't seen like the reinvigorated versions of those. But that just goes to show how many new, new things there are because um, we've only been seeing the new stuff. And the new stuff that I've tried so far, like my god, this USB thing is... While I, I, did, I, I am hoping that at some point it gets even more effect even just it as it is right now it's very 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 cool it's a really really interesting idea and it, it plays out pretty damn well the fact that it basically it's a weapon that changes every time you reload is really cool right, keep keep it un unreloaded so we can pop a shot into whatever enemy we'd like like what happens if i hit you Probably nothing, but I've got to try it. Okay, that just gives me fully auto. It, it might, what it might be is actually, um, thinking about it now. So I was saying how it'd be nice if different enemies had different, um, different, like, unique attacks and stuff. I think it actually might just be that the weapon takes the, the, the class of the enemy in the code and uses that to determine the bullet pattern. So, like... I know that this doesn't actually exist in, in the way that I'm describing it, but I'm sure it exists in somewhere or another. Like, all the normal bullet kin will be described as, like, full auto. Um, and, like, anything that's similar to those enemies, like these beanbag enemies, will also be considered just, just the, the default full auto, and that's what it'll give you. Whereas, stuff like the Cubulon, stuff like the, um, the Lead Maiden, they all are considered, like, spread shot, and then, like, the Executioner and the, the Shotgun Kin, they're all considered shotgun. They're kind of grouped already, and Ski has just used those predetermined groupings to decide what, um, what bullet modifier you get. I'm sure that if he watches this episode, he'll be able to elaborate a little more in the comments. I say he, I don't actually know if he, uh, Ski is a he or a she. I shouldn't say he. I shouldn't just decide in, in my own mind. I don't actually know. Um, 
but they uh, can let you know in the comments and uh, be kind of interesting to see. I'm hoping, basically, that if I put one of their um, items in the thumbnail, that they'll watch the video. <laughs> it always it always makes me happy to see that um, modders are watching my content. Ah. Even if sometimes I do destroy all their hopes and dreams with the uh, the crushing blow to self-esteem I give them on a day-to-day -day basis. But, honestly, it's been a hot minute since that's happened. I haven't really... Oh, these are cool. I really like those. I haven't really had a, a moment super recently. Ooh, I love this item. Um, where I've... Uh, where I've absolutely crushed a modder's spirit. It's been it's been a hot minute since I did that. That's something that I used to do on a pretty much Hey, hello again. Conocopia horn. Uh, the coin pest. Yokai finger trap. I'd like to get the finger trap, please. That sounds really interesting to me. And it sounds like a passive item. The, the horn sounds like an active. And I've already got an active that I quite like. Despite the fact that I don't use it very much. Oh god. I keep forgetting we're on turbo mode, you know. And I'm getting hit a lot because of it. But I'm not turning it off because I kind of like the additional challenge. Like, the game gets a little stale when you just know you're going to win all the time. No matter what items you get. So, adding turbo mode back in. I I I'm sure by, like, in a few weeks I'll get, I'll get perfectly used to it. Oh, for god's sake. Really? Ah, uh, every time, like, I don't know what to say about the, um, <laughs> the never gonna give you up chest. Personally, it's a hilarious joke. I love it. It's a great idea. But they show up way, way too often. To the point where actually getting a rainbow chest, also, I forgot to actually grab the item, whatever. To the point where now, getting an actual real rainbow chest, I'm just gonna be disappointed upon seeing it. Because um, <laughs> I'm just going to always assume it's a Rick Roll chest. Because they are so unbelievably common. I feel like they should be about as rare. Or maybe a little slightly more common than an actual regular um, rainbow chest. So it should still be an exciting and surprising occurrence when you get it. Not like once every run to every two runs. I think it'd add a bit more impact to the jerk. I also think... One of the, it's one of those things where it's like, it's a great joke the first two or three times. But once you've seen it more than that, it gets a bit old. So I feel like having it be a lot rarer means that the first time you find the, the, um, the first time it happens, it'll be very impactful. But it's not like you're going to keep getting the, the, the joke shoved down your throat over and over again once you've already, once you already know it. But now pretty much everyone that plays Expand the Gungeon has seen it. And they just kind of go, oh, it's fucking this again. <laughs> and it's, it doesn't really hurt anything because it still gives you the item and stuff. But still, I think it'd add more impact if it got turned down a good amount. Um, we've got this. I guess I'll take ammo for this. Right, back over to the witch's place. Grab the finger trap because I think I can afford it now. Yes, I can. Right, we've got a little follower with us by the looks of it. Um, the spirit of mischievous gun uh, gungeoneer infests this paper finger trap. Once caught, the trap will not let go, and the ghost will manifest to laugh at you. The spirit lan- um, the spirit lanterns bullets- what? This spirit lanterns bullets- This spirit lanterns bullets- Why is bullets capitalized? That's really throwing me off. Will afflict enemies with hex. Creatures with hex uh, may be damaged upon attacking. Reload speed plus companion. Also, we have the rainbow bracelet, so having a companion actually does some stuff for us. The way that was worded confused me, but that might not be the mod developer's fault. That may be my pea-sized brain's fault, so... I, I often cannot read, so... I apologize. Reading has never been a strong suit of mine. Never. Right, come on, game. If you'd like to load anytime soon, that would be fantastic. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Now, what are we going to use for room clearing? Because the USB is fun, but I feel like it's kind of lost its potency a little bit this late on. Maybe Goose? Maybe the Swan Off? Oh, hello again. 
How are you, this fine dear? Totally not done on purpose. There's a bit of that hex coming on. Okay, the, the Swan Off isn't that good. M maybe we'll just go with the, the Deadly Gun. Because it does do a lot of damage if we, um, if we buff it up. We just gotta keep our distance and stay reasonably safe. Now, a death is very imminent right now, I realize. So using this gun probably isn't the best idea. Okay, extremely imminent now. Um, as I said before many a time, I've gotten pretty bad at this game recently because I've gotten too good at it. Uh, that, that definitely helps. Oh, this was a mini boss. Oh no, okay, thank, thank God it's not a super hard mini boss. In fact, this mini boss shouldn't be too bad. I say that and I fucking die to him, don't I? I was gonna say, because we should kill him pretty quick. Anyways, <laughs> a fun episode nonetheless. I hope you guys did enjoy. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.